Hey guys and gals, Steve Houston back again on YouTube. It's been a crazy year. It is the last day of November 2020. Tomorrow we start 12-1-2020, December 1st, 2020. 30 more days to get out of what I think, look, I said years ago that 2020 was going to be the, a defining year for our business. And it was a defining year. Um... It was a defining year on how to survive in the industry or just in life in general. I think everything you, you, anybody could possibly throw at us was thrown at us in 2020. We learned a lot. You know, as a result, our income, you know, uh, was stable. It, it increased during the COVID considerably back in March, April, May, uh, because everybody wanted life insurance. So that's not a bad thing. Uh, we were able to uh, learn from it, learn some new skills from it. Um, and, uh, and the carriers came around with a lot of non-face-to-face -face products. So there were some positives that came out of uh, um, 2020, for sure. But honestly, um, I don't know about you, but I could have done without the learning curve. <laughs> we got, look, on all seriousness, it, was, uh, it has been a year. And I'm looking forward to 2021, uh, the election behind us. I'm guessing COVID will be pretty much behind us with the new vaccinations coming out. Things will get back to somewhat normal, hopefully, and, uh, and we can get back to uh, doing what we do best, which is going out there helping families, protecting families, uh, and uh, um, you know, supporting our own families, right? So, um, look, I, you know, I just thought I'd get a video up here real quick. I want to do a series on what's the difference between top income earners. I've had the opportunity over the last couple of weeks to speak to uh, some agents that are you know, mid to late twenties, early thirties, maybe that are doing, you know, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars a year issue paid in the insurance business, which is insane. You know, I've been doing this for a long time. You can tell it's getting cold in Northern California. Got the down Parker on here. It's uh, I've been around for a while in this industry, and to see those kind of incomes is insanity. But here's the thing. You know, as I talk to agents, and I talk to thousands of agents over the course of the year, many people wonder, well, why is he making it and I'm not making it? Why is she making it and I'm not making it? Why do I struggle and they're knocking it out of the park? That's a good question. And, I, and that's one that we I think we should focus on. So I'm going to do five or six videos on this subject. The five things I think are separate the top income earners from you. And here's the thing. You have the ability to do them all. So look, here's the deal. Have you ever been frustrated to wonder why people who are top income earners in mortgage session, final expense, life insurance, right? We sell death benefit. Uh, it doesn't matter how you package it. It's the same thing. Have you ever wondered just how some of those guys that are, and gals that are top income earners get more and more successful, more and more prosperous, and worse yet, they make it seem so simple and so easy, while other people seem to keep trying and trying and trying, yet it seems like they're going to be stuck forever and never really get out of first gear, or success is just not in the cards for them. The reason this happens, I found, is simple. It's something you've heard me say many times before, especially if you've been in, involved in direct selling before. Your thoughts come before your actions. What you think about will come about. So in order to be at the top, you've got to think and act like a top income earner before you're going to be a top income earner. Listen, I know this video is not about how to sell insurance. So look, and I also know the analytics on my channel. Many of you, I, I, it doesn't matter how much time I invest in a subject, learning point for me, uh, many of you hang up around four to seven minutes. So we're, we're approaching that time right now. This video is not about selling insurance. What we do every single day in the business of mortgage section and final expense is, is simple, guys and gals. It really is. I've got 100 videos on this channel, and 90 of them might, might help you sell some insurance. But here's the thing. We buy some leads. We make some dials. We book some appointments. We run those appointments. We write some apps. We rinse and repeat. Honestly, it's that simple. And here's what I believe, and I hope, hopefully you figured that out by now. You can watch a thousand videos on how to sell this stuff and still fail. If you don't have a few things, what I believe are non-negotiables. One of them is you gotta be, you gotta have a good attitude. You gotta have a positive attitude. You gotta be excited about life and about this business. If you're not, don't even start. 
you gotta be always positive. I find this to be the number one thing that blows people out of this business every single day. They're just negative, right? They're sarcastic. They have a crappy attitude, half empty rather than half full people. You know what I'm talking about. And if that's you, I bet you've tried many businesses over the years and failed in every single one of them. Of course, like most, you probably blame it on the upline or the IMO or the lead or, or the client or the weather or COVID or your car or your girlfriend, your wife, whatever. But honestly, what was the common denominator, right? You and I will never be successful in anything if we don't work on us first. The common denominator in all those failures, in all those businesses, in all those struggles was us, you and me, right? We got to prove ourselves. We got to fix this, right? Before we can fix this, we got to fix this. So over the next few videos, let's take a look at some of the characteristics of the thinking patterns of the top income earners together and see how you and I really measure up. That's how I think we should finish this year off and go into 2021 prepared mentally, physically, right? To do the job at the highest level that we're possible of doing so we can change this. This may be tough for some of you, right? To actually invest in you. It's called personal development rather than on something more sexy, like selling insurance and making money. Look, here's my, and one just fell. Look, if you don't, if you're not, you gotta be, you gotta get yourself in the, in, into some personal development, reading some books, investing in, you know, in, in yourself, some bread for the head, right? Food for the soul, bread for the head. I believe if you, if you don't get this six inches between your ears right, you might as well get a job. You're never going to make it in this business. You're not going to make it in any business, right? Or at least in a business where you're dealing with people, <laughs> right? And that's the business that we're in, people, period. So today, let's take number one. Top income earners don't have limited self-belief. They just don't. I've talked to a lot of them, especially these young guns, right? They don't have a clue what limited self-belief is in most cases. They believe if a guy can make a million dollars or a girl can make a million dollars, I can make two million dollars. There's something to learn from that. See, they don't have all the fears and the, and the failures in their past, you know, piled up in their brain. They're brand new, fresh, and they feel like they, they were, I was the same way when I was 19, 20, 22 years old. I, I was, I was going to, you know, be wealthy, have my own, you know, ship and helicopters and all that stuff, right? I had unlimited self-belief. Top income earners believe that they are destined to be at the top and there's nothing that can stop them from achieving that financial goal. They're convinced. They'll do whatever necessary to reach their goals, including doing things that they may dislike or, or taking on tasks that seem impossible to complete. They live right outside their comfort zone because they honestly believe not only that they can do it, but they're also worthy of doing it as well. See, many of us have a problem. We think, you know, we're not worthy of wealth, right? We have the past and, and that past, you know, prohibits us from having any great success because we're guilty about the things we've done and haven't done. What do you believe? Are you constantly questioning the system that you're learning at your IMO or from your coach or from your, your, your agency owner? That's a sign of self to belief. Do you do whatever is necessary to reach your goal? If not, that's a sign of self-belief, limited self-belief. Do you have a date on when you'll give up on this business? Right? That's a sign of limited self-belief. You have a very low I quit factor, right? What is your I quit factor? Is your I quit factor running? Well, if I run nine appointments and with no sales, I'm going to quit. Or if I get a chargeback or multiple chargebacks, I'm going to quit. Or if I get a bad batch of leads, I'm going to quit or reschedules or cancellations, I'm gonna quit. Or maybe I love this one, a job offer. Well, I have many agents call me up and say, you know, Steve, I was, you know, I'm gonna put it on hold because I got a good job offer. Folks, this is not a job. This is an opportunity. For the cost of an insurance license, 500 bucks or less, you can go out there and you can make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year and build three types of income, commissions, residual, and passive. It's not a job. If a job will distract you from this opportunity, don't start. 
So what will make you quit your business? All of these points lead to a single problem, which is a lack of self-belief. You know why? Simple. Here's the deal. Now follow me for a second before you hang up on my channel. If you truly believe that you could change your financial future for you and your family forever, and that for the cost of an insurance license, $500 or less, you could have a shot at earning that $100,000, $200,000, $500,000, $800,000 a year. If you truly saw yourself living financially free, no debt, money in savings, no financial pressure, and you that are married, you know this one, seeing your wife never under financial stress again because you and I weren't getting it done. There's no money in the bank and she's working. Not because she wants to work. Some do, but most don't. But because you aren't cutting it. She's faking it and she says she's happy. So you don't feel bad. Look, Christmas is just around the corner. Now those might be hard words, but call it tough love. I've been there. I, I, I'm talking from experience here. I'm not preaching something that I haven't preached to myself. I stand in the same mirror you stand in front of. And I analyze, you know, am I doing everything I can, I can do to put food on my table and to maximize my potential in this business? And the answer is no. Right? So you had to stand in that mirror and you have to ask yourself, am I doing whatever it takes for as long as it takes, no matter what? Or am I just sticking my toe in it and see if it works out? Right? Am I doing everything? Am, am, I, am I going on that appointment even, they, even, because, even, they, even though they canceled? Or am I turning around and going home because I really don't want to go? Look, Christmas is just around the corner. And for those of you who celebrate Christmas, I know how many excuses we make as husbands and fathers having to say no to our wives and our kids. We make us some stupid excuses that they don't really need it. You know, it's silly or whatever. Gut check here. None of that is true. It's mostly because you can't afford it, right? Going back to this wallet again, downsizing our dream to fit our wallet, making excuses to our kids and to our wives, to our families, because we really want to give them something, but we can't afford it, so we pawn it off as being that they don't really need it. It's simple. It's, it's, it's excess. They don't, no one needs that. <laughs> like, a, like a good car, you know, a reliable car. And that feeling is what drives me to this day, because I've been there. I'm right there with you. I've been there. I patched my car together a number of times. I've told my son that he couldn't have something and my daughter and my grandkids because I couldn't afford it. I lived for the day where I could spend I, I, I could buy the things I wanted to buy for my family for Christmas and never look at the price tag. I'm not talking about being rich. I'm talking about doing whatever I can to remove the money from my decisions. I learned that from my dad. If you could see yourself debt-free, living in the home of your dreams, money coming in residually every single day, more money coming in than you have bills, taking some vacations, living life, right? Some people's some days are some people's every days. It exists out there in this industry, run the same leads that you and I are running. If you truly believed in you and in this business, and you had unlimited self-belief, you would never quit on this business. And you certainly would not go get a job, would you? Look, I hope this, make, this video makes a difference to you. If it does, give me that thumbs up. Look, those haters out there, thumbs up, thumbs down. YouTube looks at it as engagement. It helps the channel, right? I'm on here to try to tell you from a, from a, from a person that's been in the business for a while, right? The things I find in a lot, and, and talk to hundreds of thousands of agents, that I find common denominators in success and common denominators in failure. I, I'm going to talk about how to sell insurance too. But again, if you don't get this mind right, you could watch all my videos a hundred times a piece. You would never, you still would fail, right? So I'm going to take the next four or five videos and talk about the five things or six things that separate the ones that fail and the ones that succeed at a very high level. So don't forget the thumbs up. Mash the, 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 the button down there, that uh, right down here. That, gets, it will, that will give you instant notifications when the next video comes out. But if you truly are being fed here and it's helping you, even if, and I hear from a lot of you, and I'm grateful the ones that do take the time to tell me and send me emails, post comments, 
that they're getting something from the channel because quite honestly, I don't, there's no money in this deal, right? It's in it, I'm in it to help you. Yeah, of course, I get some haters out there say, well, sounds like you're recruiting people. I don't talk about recruiting on these, on these videos for a very good reason, right? So obviously, I'm building my own agency, I've been all my life. And if I find somebody that's a fit for what we're doing and I choose to partner with them, it's not a sign-up deal with me, right? All the recruiters are sign-up, sign, you know, recruit, 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 don't get those things out of order and you'll be su successful, that's not me. I, I, I look at invest in somebody and partner with somebody. If that's you, great, we get that conversation. But I don't talk about a lot of this channel because it's really about helping you and providing you with some information so you don't make a mistake. But if you get something out of this video, please, or this channel, do me a favor, share this video out on social platforms and to others that you may know in or out of this industry. So together we can help as many people as we can. That would truly help me and I would be grateful for that. Appreciate that. Have a great day and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.